first of all, I would like to apologize uh, that uh, for my disabled tooth, I just came back from the hospital, just changed up for a uh, I still have a lot of work in the hospital. I have to go back to the center line. But since I had uh, committed for this meeting at 7.30, here I am. Uh, the topic that I was told to talk about was about navigating your medical speciality. So I thought that I'd give a different perspective to all of you, rather than the current perspective that a lot of you might be having. Uh, I particularly feel that, I particularly feel that uh, especially in, uh, uh, you know, in our medicine, we have very set and fixed ideas. Uh, say, yeah, this is the correct approach to go about things, this is the wrong approach to go about things, these are the top branches, these are the not so good branches and uh, uh, this is how you should do about, go about and uh, you know, uh, uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, I have a small presentation I'd like to share if uh, I can, should I? Hello? Should I share it? Uh, can someone please help me out with that? Can you see my, uh, one second. Can you see the presentation? Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yeah, it's a very small one. So uh, I was told that I, uh, it will be navigating my medical specialization. So I thought that uh, I'll start with the first and the foremost thing. That the concept of dream branch in my opinion is a myth. And I, I have my reasons to say that. Uh, a lot of people think that there is XYZ dream branch. Uh, very, very honestly tell me, almost every one of us, not everyone if I will say, but at least 50% of us, when we were back in 10, 11, 12 standard, we were motivated by SGS to be after, you know, that life is all set up in MBBS. But it's only when you are in MBBS you realize sort of the ground realities. And, uh, you know, uh, a lot of us were like, we will discover the cure for cancer, we will, uh, uh, you know, we'll become neurosurgeons, we'll become cardiac surgeons, and so on and so forth. And uh, when you come in your second year or third year, I don't know, uh, the current mix of my audience, then the trend suddenly becomes like, nah, yaar, thoda, like nah, aram hai, uh, chill hai. Uh, Some people obviously at that point of time are also very motivated, still want to become that neurosurgeon that they always dream of and still want to become, uh, you know, the card, uh, CTV surgeon that they always dreamed of. Uh, but uh, over time, our decisions are much more motivated by uh, by a simple equation that I would like to say as maximum amount of money and minimum amount of work. And this is true for particularly for every every country. I'll be very honest about that. And I'll give you data. The problem is that in India, data is a bit tough to collect as far as the money aspect is concerned because physicians don't openly disclose their salary. Uh, we don't really know how much an XYZ person is earning because the salaries are not really disclosed and a good chunk of uh, uh, our uh, uh, doctors are actually employed by government hospitals. Around 30 to 40 percent of the doctors are actually employed by government in the government sector, in the uh, central or state government sector, where the, uh, the salaries are actually similar across spectrum. So even uh, you know, a pathologist is making the same money as a person who's doing neurosurgery, who's making the same money as a pediatrician. So that skews the data. Uh, but talking about a totally you know free economy model where uh, things are dictated by demand and supply and i'll talk about that so what i want to say is that dream branch is a myth is simply because your decision on choosing a dream, dream branch is motivated and influenced not by your dreams but by your parents dreams but by the things that you have seen in your college and the exposure that your college kind of has it's fully possible that let's say your college has an extremely great surgery department so a lot of people are motivated to take surgery. It's fully possible your college has a very bad surgical department uh, or maybe the professors are not that interested in teaching you or the residents are not that interested in teaching you versus let's say, you know, pediatrics or some other, other branch has a really good department that inculcates learning. Which is also the reason I feel that a lot of times why is that branches like ENT, Opthal are not considered, even their surgical branches are not considered by people uh, even though they actually afford a much better lifestyle as compared to let's say general surgery simply because our exposure during MBBS to them uh, during our internship to them is lesser as compared to during you know as, uh, as compared to the big the big four branches I talk about the Ops, Kine, the Peds, the 
uh, the, the medicine and the surgery. And why is that radio is suddenly everywhere uh, around radio and drama in, in which whose case we are not really exposed during our MBBS. Do we really have a radiology posting? Tell me anyone who actually has a radiology posting. Do we really go and see what CT looks like or what IMR looks like? But everyone keeps on talking about that radiology is my dream branch. A lot of people keep on talking about radiology is my dream branch. Now why is radiology your dream branch? You have absolutely zero exposure to radiology during your MBBS. Derma is my dream branch. You probably had a two, two week or three week posting in dermatology and you are saying it's your dream branch. You are either you are underestimating what a dream really means, or uh, the the bigger truth being the dream branch is a myth. Uh, we are motivated by factors such as money, factors such as our parents. Uh, I know a lot of people who say that they wanted dermatology because they like the lifestyle that it affords, but their parents didn't allow them to take dermatology simply by saying ki chamdi ka doctor nahi or something on those lines. And they are motivated by your seniors, by how teaching is there in your college. Uh, a, se a particular senior that you like, uh, he inculcated a love for that subject. A particular senior that you dislike, and he inculcated a hate for that particular subject. So dream branch is a myth, but but dream lifestyle is a reality. After your MBBS, you do know what you don't want to do. All right, and I would actually uh, encourage you guys to be very very open to the idea of. That it's fully possible that I won't get up because of the competitive environment that our country uh, country is in and the competitive nature of the NEET PG entrance examination. Uh, it's fully possible that you won't get a dream, uh, you know, dream branch. And like I said, that dream branch is not your dream branch. It's probably a cumulative dream branch of everyone around you. But uh, dream lifestyle is a reality. You know yourself. You know what I am capable of and what I am not capable of. So you can actually rule out choices, but you can be very, very clear about the fact that, hey, I'm not someone who has the aptitude or the tenacity or the, you know, the patience that is required to be a surgeon. All right. Or you can be like, hey, I do not have the, you know, the mental rigor or the mental uh, stamina or the, you know, the ability to come up with such a huge diagnosis. I'm a person who thinks very, very straightforward. I remember an incident from, uh, I remember an incident from second year of my, uh, you know, I, I went to, uh, I was like in third or fourth semester. I went to OT, a minor OT. Uh, there was a lymph node dissection that was going on and I was assist assisting. And uh, the, the person that is a senior of mine, he asked me, hey, where are you from? And, uh, and I'm, I'm someone who's from a defense background, so I've actually traveled a lot. Uh, my parents are technically from Punjab, but I've stayed most of my time in Delhi. So I went on and said, uh, Actually, my papa, papa, Air Force, hai, main raha hai hai hai. and he's like, and he immediately told me something on the lines of that you, uh, it, uh, you don't want to be a surgeon, right? And I was very shocked, like you know, he did project correctly. I'm not saying I, my interest was always in medical fields rather than the surgical fields, and here I was in a lymph node dissection. But uh, he said to me that you know, but I was surprised that how did he come to this conclusion? With me answering a question about where I am from, no. and he said, since another senior simply said to me that the soldiers have to think very straightforward. They do not have time for bullshitting around. So when you were talking about all this, I realized that you are someone who likes to talk a lot. You are someone who likes to keep a lot of differential in that. You know, so if you say all these things, you will You are a medical guy, so that's why he said that. And that is very true, and that's what I want to talk about. That dream branch is a myth. Because the branch that you're thinking is simply influenced by the various factors, your college, your seniors, your parents, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, so on and so forth actually. But uh, dream lifestyle is reality. You do know yourself. You do have an understanding about what you are. Okay. So you know that I am not such a person who maybe does not get surgery in 10 hours. Or then you, you are someone who can say, I am not someone who can actually stand two hours or three hours of medicine rounds where they are discussing the same set of differentials again and again and again and uh, so this way uh, I particularly feel that you should take the decision as well as navigating your medical specialties, uh, na navigating your medical specialities concern then think about the lifestyle, uh, I want a relaxed lifestyle okay I want some, I want uh, to be, have a 9 to 5 job 
डिसेंट अमाउंट ऑफ मनी नॉट क्रेजी मनी बट डिसेंट सी एवरी टाइम यू थिंक की मेरे को बहुत पैसे कमाने हैं तो मेहनत भी बहुत करनी पड़ेगी सो एनी लाइफ स्टाइल यू फील लाइक नाइन टू फाइव लाइफ स्टाइल चाहिए then you can obviously earn decent to good amount of money but not crazy amount of money that you think you want to earn obviously until unless you already have or have a setup or you're a second generation doctor that takes you to a different uh, pathway i'm talking mostly about first generation doctors or if you are like no i'm i'm someone who loves to stay in the hospital i'm someone who loves to run around i'm i'm someone who lives and breathe uh, you know what is happening to the patient then you are a, a, a certain different person so think about in that way of navigating your dream branch or dream lifestyle a dream lifestyle yes you can consider a dream lifestyle i particularly like how divya chose a speciality and that's how particularly suited her she simply said i'm someone who did not like medicine i'm someone who did not like uh, surgical aspects so every surgical speciality was ruled out she wanted to be in patient contact she always always wanted to be in patient contact like you know she said that radiology she found radiology boring that i was sitting in a room i won't ever have a patient contact so you can't be that person but you might find that you know that i like patient contact i don't like patient contact uh from or take a gorge i'm someone who values my 9 to 5 job with my sleep keep quality over patient contact or i value the patient contact over having a good decent job and everything and uh, you know a great salary and like that so think about that lifestyle that you're demanding and then maybe think about the branches Don't consider, I would say, dream branches in the form of, hey, this is most pain speciality. Hey, this is what toppers are taking. Hey, this is what my parents have been telling me to take. Hey, this is what my seniors are telling. Think for yourself. Think, I am so and so. This are my likes and dislikes. This is what I want to see myself doing ten years down the line. Think about that lifestyle. Think about the kind of life that you are living or uh, uh, dreaming about. and then maybe think about a speciality and then explore about that speciality as well and the reason i say that uh, a lot of the things are in in india particularly are motivated by simply two things i said in the big thing maximum work sorry minimum work and maximum pay and that's why a lot of toppers who are supposed to keep on taking radiology and medicine over blood and to a certain extent dermatology dermatology i particularly will say is a very lifestyle branch a person who doesn't want any emergencies in his life a person who doesn't want a uh, dermatologist is not being very honest not something which is very very high paying actually uh, it takes a lot of uh, it can be high paying yes but in the initial phase there can be similar struggle the same struggle a surgeon might face you have to set up uh, that uh, after setting up you have to learn patient trust so that long learning curve that people criticize against surgery is actually valid as far as dermatology is also concerned but as far as dermatology is concerned you are afforded the lifestyle which a surgeon won't ever have but a person who is interested in becoming let's say a surgeon would never ever want the lifestyle that a dermatologist has a surgeon would always want to be on toes that's what excites him that's what drives him so dream branch is a myth dream lifestyle is a reality and the reason i say this is that in india we don't know the actual compensation and the branch preference but in case of us we do In case of US, if you look closely, this is something you know. The branches which are least selected, they are medicine and pediatrics in US. Medicine and pediatrics is least selected, while branches like surgery, ENT, dermatology, they are the most preferred ones. 